Dinesh ji, especially after 2014, the Congress has been so used to losing. How does it feel to have won such a big victory in as important a state as Karnataka? And what was the bonhomie and the chemistry like in that cabinet meeting which just got over? No, it's not that uh, the Congress has been losing. The perception has been created that the Congress has been losing. Uh, if you see the state elections that have happened since uh, 2017, uh, when we lost Karnataka after that, 2018 we lost Karnataka, subsequently we won Rajasthan, we won Chhattisgarh, we won Madhya Pradesh, then uh, we had won Punjab, we lost Punjab this time, then uh, we have uh, won Himachal recently, now we have uh, won in Karnataka, and uh, perception has been built that, uh, you know, the BJP never loses. But uh, apart from winning uh, some of the heartland states, they have lost many, many states. It's not that they've been able to win in uh, the southern states now. They've not been able to win in Andhra, Telangana, Orissa, Bengal, Bihar, you know, so many states. If you look at it, Punjab, Delhi, uh, you know, they've lost many, many states. But unfortunately, when BJP loses, it doesn't become big news. But when Congress loses, it's, it's huge news. And when... Uh, uh, I thought it's so the other way around, because <laughs> the BJP usually doesn't lose, when the yeah, Congress wins it's bigger news nowadays. You know, that, that's what I'm saying, so if Congress wins also you make it a big news, and if Congress loses you make it a bigger news, but if, when, whenever BJP loses it's not much of a news. Like Karnataka it's a huge loss, and uh, we know how the election was conducted in Karnataka with the Prime Minister himself being around, Ms. Amit Shah being around, it was like they put everything into this, and they were thrashed, literally they were thrashed, but that didn't make big news. Otherwise, it would have been like Rahul Gandhi came and Rahul Gandhi was lost. But nobody, no, no, nobody is saying that Modi came and Modi lost. So, that, anyway, that apart. But for us, it's a great victory. And um, it's a, it has actually, I think, uh, earlier, I remember when we had a show earlier, I was also saying with India Today that uh, we need a balance. And in this country today, that balance has been lost in terms of the way the political uh, dispensation in the, the center is working. It is almost dictatorial. And uh, we need a balance in the sense that the opposition also has to be strong and the voice of the people needs to be heard by the uh, people in power and they need to listen uh, to voices of dissent, uh, differing opinions, different versions of uh, what is happening in, this, in the country. Unfortunately today somehow there is an atmosphere that people who speak against the establishment tend to get suppressed or there is a fear factor also amongst many people. So I think winning Karnataka, I think, is a, stepping, uh, a step towards the direction of bringing about a balance in our political system in the, in the country. But the opposition in this state and the government nationally would counter what Dinesh ji is saying, Mr. Patil, by saying that Karnataka is not India and Bengaluru is not Delhi. And even if you won a localized election in Karnataka, this has no bearing on other elections and especially on the 2024 general elections. Why do you think that Karnataka's victory could be a turning point for what happens from here, especially in the big elections next year? So, if you, uh, one question already Dinesh ji addressed. Modi ji did campaign here, he and Amisha, the Home Minister, the Prime Minister, Home Minister. They are almost the residents of Bangalore for a few months. Nobody was there in Delhi to take care of the nation. Secondly, whenever you see, it was Karnataka which has given uh, a change in the country's politics. For example, Indira Gandhi ji, she, when she was out of power, it was Chikmangalur. She contested Lok Sabha in Chikmangalur and it was a comeback. So, now you will see in 2024 elections, in Karnataka, we will win a minimum of 20 seats plus. Minimum 20 seats. That no, I but guess. the same polls which yeah. were showing Congress popular at the local level was simultaneously, Mr. Rao, suggesting that Prime Minister Modi retains uh, his popularity for the national elections by a percentage positive jump of 8. So at the same time when you are polling, people seem to have different preferences for the state and for the center. Yeah, I mean, uh, I will not say that uh, the parliament elections are going to be very easy, but I think this election results has also galvanized the opposition parties also is going to bring about a change in the, the way things are going to happen politically in the country. And I think voices uh, which are, uh, you know, voices of, of uh, dissent, voices of the opposition will be more clearly heard. And I think this gives confidence to all of us, not only to the Congress, but across to all other political parties, 
that uh, BJP is not impregnable, BJP is, uh, cannot be defeated, you know, the kind of perception that they've been trying to build, you know, we've punctured it over here. So definitely, like what Mr. M. B. Patel said, Lok Sabha is going to be hard, it'll be a hard-fought election, no doubt, and it'll be more or less uh, by, uh, just between two political parties. And we are confident that with our performance in the state and with, by giving a good government, a clean government, we can also impact the uh, Lok Sabha election. And I think uh, there is a lot of time, another 10 months to go. Uh, 10 months is a long time in politics. And I think uh, the whole situation can change. And uh, we are very confident, in Karnataka at least, uh, we are going to do very well. And in the southern states, I do not see BJP being able to make any headway in Tamil Nadu, Kerala, uh, Andhra, and even Telangana also. So I think the, these states will, can be, bring about a huge change, uh, uh, I think, for, for the parliament election.